What's up everybody? So, as I've been making these videos for you, it's become more and more apparent that you kind of see me as a role model and as a mentor. And I've been getting just an overwhelming amount of questions that I honestly feel the responsibility uh, to, to answer. I, I feel that I need to provide you guys with this information and, and with these life skills. And uh, so I'm just going to try to get it out there and let you know that size matters. Okay, size does in fact matter. I mean, I've had the privilege of being with numerous women and they all agree, you need to pay attention to the size of your watch. Okay. Oh, wait, you thought we were talking about your dick? What's going on everybody? I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller. Now today, I'm gonna do a video about a watch that you should all be fairly familiar with if you watch this channel. Uh, it's been in a few videos, I've mentioned it a couple times, and it seems like every time I talk about this watch, I get a huge amount of questions about it, and I am sick of it! I do not want to talk about this watch any longer, so I'm going to make a video just dedicated to this watch, and then I don't want to hear you ever bring it up ever again! I'm just kidding, we can keep talking about it. It is 2.32 p.m., let's get down to business! Okay, so before we get started, let's do a little wrist check. Let's see what I'm wearing on my wrist today. Uh, today I'm wearing my gorgeous Omega Speedmaster Professional, but this isn't just any ordinary Omega Speedmaster. Uh, this one is, well, let's just say this one's out of this world. <laughs> but that's all you're going to get out of me today, because tomorrow we are going to be talking about that watch. And uh, now would be a very good time to subscribe. So go ahead, click that subscribe button, and uh, you're not going to want to miss tomorrow's episode celebrating Speedy Tuesday. All right, guys, let's get into today's video. The watch we will be talking about today is my beautiful Musta Cartier tank. Now, it seems like every video I put this watch in, I get a huge amount of questions about it. And uh, I figured, you know what, let's just dedicate a little video to this watch, do a little review slash unboxing, and maybe, just maybe, it will clear up some of the questions about this awesome, awesome piece. And uh, if you don't know which watch I'm referring to, then this is gonna be even more exciting. So uh, just stick around. Let's uh, just look at some of the really interesting things that are written on this box. So this watch came out in the mid 1980s. And as you can see, it was originally sold for $750. Uh, and another really comical thing that's written on this box, uh, let me focus it up, is that um, it says here that this is the large tank, tricolor with white, it's referring to the dial, but this is the large tank, okay? So this was considered large back in the 80s because there were even smaller tanks for the ladies, but we're gonna talk about the size in a moment. So the first thing you'll notice when opening up the packaging is just the incredible quality, okay? Even by today's standards. And I guess now would be a good time to kind of just state that this is partially what you pay for when you pay for a higher end piece, right? Um, just the, the really high quality, impressive packaging with the really nice attention to detail. I mean, even the little booklets are, are shimmering. It's like finding a holographic Pokemon card, uh, but even better. So as you can see, uh, the packaging comes in this really uh, deep, uh, kind of standard red color that you see in a lot of um, Cartier products. We're gonna open this up in a moment, but I wanna go over this awesome little booklet. Uh, it contains three other little booklets, and so this is kind of your, uh, I guess, your guarantees, your cert, cert, certification, uh, certificate of authenticity, I'll say. Um, I think this is just some more uh, instructions, but this is very cool. A lot of it's in French, but on the other side, you got some English. Talks about the history. It's just a brief blurb about the history of the tank design. As you can see, Tank Watch uh, created in 1917 as a tribute to the tank core of the First World War. Now, we're going to get into that in just a moment, uh, Cartier tanks have incredible history, and I think I would be doing you a disservice if I didn't elaborate on that. 
Okay, so I'm gonna crack this open. You guys are gonna be able to see the wash and I'm gonna share with you the awesome, awesome history. So this is my Mustacartier tank. Um, came out around the mid 80s. So uh, as I said, tank watches um, have a really, really interesting history and believe it or not, the Cartier tank has its roots in World War One. Now it's very odd and kind of hard to imagine that such a beautiful, delicate piece like this came out of such a horrible, horrible time, like World War One. but it is said that uh, around 1918, Louis Cartier himself gave some of the first models of Cartier tanks to the American general John Joseph Pershing, nicknamed Blackjack, uh, and apparently the design for the swatch was inspired by the British Mark IV tanks. Cartier tanks are known to be very rectangular, but very small and elegant, and I think this fits that mold exactly. Um, and another thing to think about, as you can see my thumbnail versus this watch, this is a 31 millimeter case, and according to this box, uh, this is the large version. So just something to think about. Times have changed with watches, and I think we need to go back to the more delicate uh, watches, and we need to get rid of the grotesque, you know, plus 45 millimeter cases. I think that's just disgusting and unnecessary. All right, so let's zoom in here, talk about some of the specs on this baby. So it's a 31 millimeter case, and as the box stated earlier, it's that beautiful tricolor with white dial. Man, when the light catches it, it just shimmers. Uh, my favorite part about the watch is probably these really vibrant blue hands. Again, when the light catches it, it just pairing with that beautiful tricolor dial. And when the light hits this little gem that Cartier puts on their crowns, it's just a very, very elegant, stunning piece. It's not too flashy, but definitely eye-catching. This is the ultimate tuxedo watch, ultimate dress watch. I made a video about the ultimate dress watch where I mentioned this piece. Uh, link will be in the description below. Definitely go ahead and watch that video. Um, but yeah, if I were to ever have to wear a tuxedo, this would be the watch I would reach for. Um, another thing we can look at um, is the material used. So this was uh, very, very hyped up in Cartier's marketing at the time. Um, as you can see, it's known as vermeil. This is a vermeil case, and it's essentially just gold-plated silver. Um, but yeah, they hyped it up a lot with their marketing, and it was a very new material for them to use. Okay, so we've gone over the history of this watch. Uh, we've gone over the specs of this watch, but there's still something that I get asked about all the time. Okay, time teller, so if this is a Cartier tank, then why are there two extra words? Musta Cartier. What does that mean? Well, very interesting. So, beginning in the 70s and throughout the 80s, Cartier heavily, heavily marketed the Musta Cartier line as a fashion accessory. So not just something you wear on your wrist to tell time. No, this was a true fashionable piece uh, that they were going to sell to you. And uh, even more so, it was high tech. Yes, uh, in this booklet, okay, in these little series of booklets, uh, they go on and on about how this Musta Cartier tank uses the newest technology, the most precise quartz movement, and uh, mechanical movements are just obsolete. And uh, I think it's just hilarious and cute nowadays because um, I love having a piece in my collection that just symbolizes that quartz crisis in the 70s and 80s when all the manufacturers were battling, just duking it out to see who could be on the cutting edge. And uh, I mean, obviously nowadays we know quartz movements to be just batteries, but I think it's hilarious how they market it. Oh, this is the Musta Cartier, a fashionable piece that you wear on your wrist with the highest end technology. Nah, man, it's just some metal with a battery in it, but I think it's awesome.
Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed learning about this beautiful little Mustique Cartier tank. Just an amazing, amazing piece. I'm so happy that it's in my collection and I'm so happy that I could share it with you. And if you have any more questions about it, too bad. No, I'm just kidding. If you have any more questions, feel free to send me a message here. Leave me a comment. I reply to pretty much all my comments. Or you can find me on Instagram at The Simple Consultants. Go ahead, send me a message there. Guys, last night we broke past 400 subscribers. That is just mind-boggling to me. I, I think it was like yesterday I made a video talking about 300 subscribers. So this thing is just snowballing and I am so happy about it. Thank you so much. And with that being said, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead, click that subscribe button. It only takes one second and it helps me out oh so much. And then while you're at it, you can click that little bell icon so you do not miss an episode of The Time Teller. There's so much more content on the way, you do not want to miss it, guys. I am telling you, please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with other watch enthusiasts, other people that you think would enjoy this. I'm Jory Goodman, The Time Teller, and always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it.